Good morning, Indian country. Wake up and shine. Breathe in the tundra, the grassy plains, the winds off the water, and the sharp mountain air. Breathe it all in, and breathe out a few thank yous for all this, for each other. We are all together on this one body called the Americas, the land of our ancestors, the land of our dreams. Greet today. It's a great day to be alive. We have met along the way, hunting on the ice flows of Alaska, traversing the plains of Canada, working the earthen steps of the Andes, trekking through the streets of Manhattan and Chicago. We're thousands of nations strong, up and down the backbone of this hemisphere. The first peoples of this great land. No matter how far from the birthing grounds we travel, we Indians were always going home, by foot, by road, by plane, or by spirit. We migrate by heart. So as you walk out into the fields to plant or gather, into steel and glass towers to trade, to the ocean or woods to hunt, remember, we're all on this journey together, down a thousand roads. Over at the western edge of the hemisphere, I see my northwest relatives, the Salish Canoe Club. Pull hard, my brothers and sisters. You travel from the present to the future with each stroke. Daryl Carrier, I see you paddling hard through those waters with your tribe. Each stroke is another victory, another step toward the life you want, getting closer to your power. We Indians are everywhere. We've helped build the skyscrapers, the roads, the ways of thinking that govern nations. We send out a greeting to Amanda Cook from the Mohawk Nation, a stockbroker hustling through the maze of Manhattan, hunting in the high-pressure world of steep fall markets. I completely forgot about breakfast. No kidding. Listen, I'm really sorry, but the market's tanking, and I've got to get into my office and pull some damage control. I'll call you. Scheduled your uh, 10 a.m. with Hoverman. Phone's been ringing off the hook. Yeah, I know. Amanda, you're gonna be late for the sales meeting. I know, I know. I'll be there in a minute. Sharon's on line one, and Steve Levine is on two. Hey, Sharon. I'm really jammed. No, I can't make it tonight. Hold on just a second. Hello, Steven. Yes. Yes, I know. I know the market's tanking. We've been here before. We'll ride it out together. It's just a paper loss at this point.
Amanda, your path weaves through those concrete canyons. Pressure is what tests us, makes us strong. We may feel disconnected from our people and our past, but we're not. Even the city is Mohawk country. We all belong to the story of our people. Thank you, sister. Where are you from? From Benwage. Kwenetzi. Sateni Zarak Sadani. Huh? Nesagene Tedani. Oyat Tedani. Zinia Yaksere Zumne. We are part of a story rooted in the culture and tradition of our people. Even in the rush of the city, our voices are strong. Yoha, he, yo, yoha, he, yo. We gain strength from our family, our tribe. We carry it with us, no matter where we are, what time or place we live in. Yeah, we'll go. Mm. Wanna get wahi? My voice carries out from the island of Manhattan, northward, across the frozen reaches of Alaska to my little Inupiat sister, Dawn Nagayak, traveling alone to Point Barrow on the edge of the Arctic Circle. Dawn, I see you somewhere in the sky over all that snow, your first time away from home, away from your mother in Seattle, called up by the army to serve overseas. long trip for a young girl, moving to a world you've never known, to relatives you've never met. It's springtime in Barrow. Temperature is a warm 10 below zero. The ocean is still frozen, four miles out. Our people have lived here for thousands of years. Our name for this place is Berg. It means a place to hunt snowy owl. These are your cousins. And your uncle. Welcome. All your relatives served our country. Your uncle in Vietnam, your grandfather in World War II, and now your mother. They all came home. Big news up in Barrow. The first whales of the season have arrived. 10,000 years and the whales still return. Inupiat hunters wait for a whale to choose them. 
their destinies are intertwined. Well meat feeds the community in body and spirit, feeds culture and identity. Up here nothing is wasted. Food doesn't grow on trees and most of it doesn't come wrapped in plastic. There are no Inupiat without the whale. This is your home too. In the Oba Mango Exo. Ilagi Kamnuk, the Manga Kanga in your word, Mango Rigi book. It means this is how we are connected. How you are connected to me and to all who came before. Um, let's go eat some pizza.
Some nights in Barrow, you can climb right up into the sky, where awe and loneliness meet. We are each the bearer of a human story. We lose and find ourselves again and again. My voice carries out across the mesas of New Mexico at the eastern edge of Navajo country, onto the streets of Albuquerque to a young man whose life is at a crossroads. Johnny Chi, Johnny Chi, Johnny Chi, 17, flirting with danger in the family car. Johnny Chi, trying to become a man by playing gangster. Far out on the res, the families in Navajo land have a place to send their troubled ones. Dene Bakea. They call it Navajo boot camp. Johnny, may you grow in strength. May you walk in balance. May you walk in harmony. In beauty, it is finished. In beauty, it is finished. Zunasling. 
John asked me. John asked me. John asked me. Johnny, everything you need is here in the land of your people. Even what you don't think you want might give you exactly what you need if you stop to listen. No watch it. No watch it. Ah, ah, ah. watch it. Choi Help me with these sheep. Oh. We don't do sheep, man. <laughs> Forget about the sheep. Are you coming or not? <laughs> these are my family's sheep, dude. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I just show my the best. 
Oh, they guess it. Yeah. Go on, it's still Don't ma. We make it through this world with the help of many. We thank them and give something back. Hojo, Hojo, Hojo Shif Yaji. Walk in beauty's way, my little brother. My voice reaches down from the mesas of New Mexico to the mountains of South America, to Quechuan country in the Andes, where my brother Don Santos Condori walks the southern backbone of the Americas, looking for the herbs, the medicines that will heal the bodies and spirits of his people. How intricate this tough and tender web. The roots of plants burrow deep, pulling up nutrients and remedies for every human trial. Don Santos, you've been trained in a tradition of medicine that goes back thousands of years, a knowledge and understanding that has served your people for generations. You have studied the earth and sky, her plants and prayers. This is how a healer's life is made. You've helped so many, and now this man has journeyed far to seek your help for his son. Your medicine is strong, but each day brings another test of your power. Each of your house calls is another journey. You travel with the spirits of your ancestors never knowing what will reach you there. Following in the footsteps of those who came before, you bring trust and compassion to those who need you. This is how it has been for thousands of years, in villages built on the rocks of your Inca ancestors. You are called to heal the sick, trusted through generations for the skill and power of your practice.
You call for help from the four winds. You summon the strength of herbs and medicines. You call upon the mountain spirits. You pray to the spirit of the condor. Who are we to say when a spirit is ready to leave this place? The spirit flies away, and we are left behind wondering why. We have songs for everything. Songs for healing, for grieving. We give our grief to the earth. She hears our songs, takes our pain, This is part of our story, our journey. It makes a circle without beginning, without end. Whoever we are, wherever we are, we are a spiral of memory, making the journey through this earthly existence. Everything is a prayer for this journey. Wings of dusk, Wings of dawn, wings of morning light. Everyone we meet on this journey is our guide, our teacher, our healer, on our way to becoming human. Dawn, you were a stranger when you went home, but that home was always inside of you feeding you, giving you strength. Johnny, we see you running through the land of your people. Keep running, brother. When you trip and fall, get up and run some more. Keep running. Amanda, each day tests your balance. But you are forever a part of your people, your tribe and the earth. Don Santos, the city of your ancestors, is a source of your strength. A book of memories, a song of your endurance. Whatever our trials, we're never alone. From each other, even our ancestors, we draw the strength we need to carry on. Indian country is really all of us. Wherever we are in this world, we're traveling together on this journey, down a thousand roads, all leading home. Good morning, Indian country. Breathe in the day and breathe out a few thank yous for all the gifts this day will bring. 
greet the day. It's a great day to be alive.